Warner Brothers logo, the dark and stormy night imagery, the sweeping score, the pan down to a snowy road. Are we sure this isn't a Harry Potter movie? You can't go crying to other people all the time. A man needs to know when to stand up for himself. Toxic masculine paternity. It's a caterpillar, which must mean something, because in the theater, I swear I heard the sound of at least a dozen comic book boners launching simultaneously. I am the last of the Council of Wizards. God damn it, I wrote a whole sin about how John Mon Hansu was double dipping in Marvel and DC, and that he was probably the only one to have done that, only to realize like a million actors and actresses have done that. Halle Berry was Storm and Catwoman, so if you're making me think about Catwoman, somehow this movie gets a sit. He lies. Don't be his champion. We can give you power. When the Shazamily forefathers put this throne room together, who decided it was a good idea to design the apparently still conscious and active embodiments of evil as part of the main hallway decor? No! Jesus, Shazam, last minute much? If Thaddeus weren't so goddamn painfully slow at grabbing his balls, you'd be shit out of luck. Only the purest of hearts can resist their temptations. I mean, my girl is a classic, for sure. But why'd you have to go and bring Motown into this? You will never be worthy. Thanks, asshole. I mean, old Shazam brought Thaddeus here with no context, exposited a tiny bit, and now he insults him for not being a good enough Neo Shazam? <laughs> Surprise T-bone shot from the inside of the vehicle, immediately followed by slow motion of the interior of the crash while incongruously joyful music plays cliche. You're gonna be okay. You did this. Damn, this family is so committed to shaming this f***ing kid that the dickhead older brother would rather do that than look for help for his dying dickhead dad. If the Sins have enough power to contact this kid in the real world this way, why wouldn't they have the power to spell it out a little more clearly to him, or one of the many others who had the same experience? Or how I learned to stop worrying and love Captain Marvel. Damn, the opening of this movie has more Philadelphia city porn than all the Rockies, all the M. Night Shyamalan movies, The Fresh Prince, and Law Abiding Citizen combined. Well, crap. I guess we're ringing the Annabelle again. You can play it off as a nod by the director to a previous film he made if you want, but this shit happened in Aquaman too. I'm just saying don't blame me in 2025 when Warner's Disney envy results in Harry Potter and the Legos of the Rings Chapter 3 Annabelle versus the Marthas. Open this up right now, kid. Very good, very funny. Man, these are some tolerant ass cops. Billy lured them into what could be a dangerous crime scene, locked them in a pawn shop, and commandeered their cruiser. I know his motives are benign, but the cops don't know that. Mom stalking. Also, is this seriously the only way he can track down another Batson? This is 2019, man. Everyone's findable. You seriously don't think Billy's mom has a fucking Instagram account? But I wanted a tiger. Oh, but this is the real prize, baby. You can use that your whole life. You'll always find your way. Movie steals the give a compass as a gift move from Big. And really, a lot of from Big, right? That's what happens when you suck! Direct video feed of me editing CinemaSins videos somehow makes it into the movie. That's the, uh, the old Batarang. Feel how sharp. Okay, this world obviously exists in the DC Universe since Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman are all featured here. But if that's the case, then why set this in a real-ass city like Philly? If Gotham and Metropolis exist, where the hell are they located? On the I-95 corridor? Thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Even if it's not steak filet. Dude, we get your cool dad. No need to show off with stretch rhyming a prayer. Also, I do have to take a sin off for Vincent and Rosa here, who are great models of actual foster parents that care. There are so many f***ing depictions of awfulness from foster kids in movies that this is a breath of fresh air. Wait, did I just get too serious? Um, scene does not contain a lap dance from Rosa, roll credits, Prometheus school are running away from things. Whew, that's better. He call himself a wizard, even just like a... A wizard from Harry Potter. Wait, wait, wait. Harry Potter also exists in the same universe as Superman and the other metahumans? Meaning that in this movie's world, J.K. Rowling said, You know what? There's not enough of a sense of mysticism and wonder around me. I think I'll invent a wizard and a magical school that people can read and escape to a new world, instead of literally looking out their windows and seeing an alien flying around saving people. I'll even include broomsticks. Recurrent imagery has proven very common in cases of mass hysteria. I've heard about people seeing cats and dogs living together. I think I got it on video. Jesus. She's just mentioning this shit now after going through all this questioning. You can't believe any of this is real. Quick, ask me if the movie will ever explain why some people can enter but she turns into a disintegrating Indiana Jones Nazi. It doesn't. You know what it's like for a child to be told you'll never be good enough? Unfortunately, this is what Mark Strong's dialect coach should have told him about this American accent. Seems like that move would have been something to try on the mortal human as he was reaching for Satan's testicle a few seconds ago instead of just yelling no. You are the true champion. 
Jesus Christ, this movie throws around Champion as casually as a prequel throws around Midichlorians. Also, Sin Ball. That's a ball of sins, man. How do I not have a replica of this on my kitchen table? Through you, they'll spread the poison to everything they touch. Make mankind turn on each other. Twitter. They asked people the same question. You know, what, what power do you want? But this time, they made it so the answers were anonymous. The fact that this character is fully fleshed out and physically disabled, but the movie doesn't make a big deal about it is something that should be celebrated like hell. Don't touch my brother. What, do you need your fake family to stand up for you? Stand up. Damn, these high school assholes bully so hard they belong in a Stephen King novel. Get out the way! Dude, what is up with the over-the-top dickwads in this movie? I thought Thaddeus' family was bad, but these motherfuckers are so into assholery that they've abandoned their truck in the school parking lot just to track Billy down to the fucking subway. Are people extra dickish in Philadelphia? Wait, I think I just answered my own question. Hello? Man, Philly's public transit system is tough as balls. The lights stay on in the car or even when traveling to a secret magical dimension. New York City and Chicago can barely keep theirs on under the best of circumstances. Long ago, we chose a champion. And we chose recklessly. Spark's position. He used his power for revenge, releasing the seven deadly sins into your world. That's a real shame and all, but when did this happen? Were people not sinning at all to that point? Or just not deadly sinning? I'm sinning the fact that these sinners weren't previously sinny enough, and that's that. Millions of lives were lost. Well, I'm sure wrath and envy were pretty rough to deal with, but did lust and pride really take a f ton of people out? And if so, was it really all that bad? My name is Shazam. Roll Zamets. The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules. Blah blah, A for Atlas, blah blah, Z for Zeus. Get it? It's an acronym. Many people don't know this, but Jeremy is also an acronym for all my powers. The good looks of Jim Neighbors, the discernment of Eric Stoltz, the integrity of Richard Nixon, the height of Elijah Wood, the universal appeal of Michael Moore, and the gravitas of Yahoo Serious. Jealous? Character gives brief message about great power along with a couple guidelines that immediately croaks cliche. Come on, man, this is public goddamn transit. A dude in a superhero costume wouldn't cause anyone to bat a fing eyelash. That's so common, ironically enough, I wrote a very similar sin in Captain Marvel. Ah! Damn it, if you want to minimize the screaming, wouldn't you just gently raise the sign into Freddy's sight? <laughs> I'm visible! I'm visible! Seriously, Zach Levi is the most perfect casting of a human to play a superhero in a red outfit since Ryan Reynolds got his second shot at Deadpool. Within the first few minutes of trying to figure out his superpower, Shazam encounters a mugging and an armed robbery. Either Philadelphia's got a Gotham-level crime problem, or this movie has a DCEU-level convenience problem. Or maybe both. You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. Yeah, but Freddy's not, and he's still casually standing right in the f***ing line of fire. Shoot him in the face! Shoot me in the face! In the face? Okay, Billy trying to figure out his powers was fun earlier, but this is just dumb. From the risks they immediately take, to the number of bullets the thugs have, to the complicity of these assholes being willing to commit murder in the service of knocking off one convenience store, it's so dumb for a pretty smart movie. Since he wrapped them in Christmas lights and the trappings of the season are all around, I look forward to the Ish Shazam a Christmas movie arguments for years to come. I genuinely can't think of a better way to spend our time. I totally get why Rocky was training so hard to get up here. Jesus Christ, this movie has more winking pop culture references than an episode of Cinema Sins. Also, it's pretty impressive that they're able to have this conversation all alone at the top of a huge tourist attraction with a big-ass Christmas tree on it. Is it really that late at night? Billy, you're back. Let us see you. Rosa immediately abandons this pursuit despite the fact that she must have heard the loud whispering in the room, the sound of Shazam turning back into Billy, and the fact that a missing child just returned to her house. Savannah Industries must have a PR person on staff that would advise against their logo looking like a swastika, right? Oh, brother. Thank God Thad identified his brother by name. Or I'd have completely lost the context of this relationship. Also, this is why I'll never be a board member for a big, probably corrupt organization. Chances of you being attacked by a sin demon increased by 800%. It's math, man. Hey, kids! Wanna go see the super fun movie where a kid gets superpowers and also nightmare creatures eat the heads off people? Don't worry, we won't show you any boobs, so you'll be fine. Sign the MPAA. Listen, the last thing we need is a remake of The Mist. I loved it, but that devastated me. This is power. More than anyone has. There is one more powerful. Guys, I'm in the middle of my big f you dad speech here. Can the magic mirror exposition wait a few minutes? F man, just punch the button. <laughs> oh my god. The truck. Replace the truck with a dumpster, and this is exactly the character arc of the bullies from the never ending story. Oh, and every other school bully arc ever in the history of film. I don't think that's gonna buff out. Not that I'm rooting for anything to happen to Freddy, but these two dick had massive bully boners yesterday, and now Freddy gets this close to him, insults them, and they do nothing? I'm so sorry I'm late. I got held up at the business office doing all the work stuff. <laughs>
Why the hell did it take DC this f***ing long to make a funny movie? Damn it, I really want to remove a sin here. But it took so long for DC to make a funny movie. And the Lego Batman movie is a whole different thing, so that doesn't count. Luckily for this training montage, there's no shortage of abandoned warehouses in the greater Philadelphia area. Har 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 movie. Seriously, Freddy's actively trying to kill Billy. YouTube. Also, Zapped in America movie. Seriously, if you're gonna make an appropriate appropriation from the Avengers for Billy, Thor is sitting right there. Your fun charged. Your fun charged. Just yesterday, everyone was gawking at Shazam, and he wasn't even doing anything. Now he's walking around the f***ing mall, shooting electricity from his fingers, and barely gets a second glance. The sin here is that it took this f***ing long for Billy to think to go to the booty trap. I mean, they even have free hot wings. Blatant f***ing theft. Like, I don't know exactly how old they are, but they're definitely I shouldn't use my magical superpowers to steal from a f***ing bank years old. Wait, is this supposed to be the same day as they left school? So they went all the way to the warehouse, did the entire training montage, uploaded all those videos to YouTube, jumped into the building, traveled to the mall to hang out for a while, went to the titty twister, robbed the ATM, then bought all this sh and installed it all before they even head to the real estate office? I'm not saying it's impossible, but it sure as hell is a Ferris Bueller level of improbable. All hands on deck! Man, they sure did yada yada Billy's return, didn't they? And have they seriously not noticed the brand new electronic Gone Girl shed full of sh he's got in his room? Costume stupid. Big white cape like he's getting married or something. Wait, what? Are wedding capes a thing? I caught because I wanted to go with ascots instead of bow ties. And I could have worn a cape? What he needs is a sidekick. Name one cool sidekick. Um, Louis Tomlinson? Mary, are you okay? Are you How do you know my name? The better question is why isn't Mary in school right now? In the middle of the day. That's like her whole thing, right? You gotta look out for you. And get as far away from this place as you can. Shazam splaining. Hey! Hey, young man. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you I'm in the middle of a show right now! <sighs> I know there's a happy ending, but there's also a ton of dickishness from a lot of the main characters to get through beforehand. Look, it doesn't matter if it hit the ground or he caught it. The deceleration rate is pretty much the same, especially as it's shown. My point is, unless one of his powers is reversing the walls of inertia, these people are as dead as they would be if they hit the ground. Also, he apparently caught it on the glass. So how did it not immediately shatter at that speed and force? You have to move, 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 shoot, shoot! Please be a good dog. Come on, man, you got the entire open street to your right to put that down. So it seems Philadelphia has gotten an early Christmas present in the form of its very own superhero. Why isn't this a bigger deal? Like when Batman and Superman were running around their towns, they were surrounded by the press. But Shazam saves a city bus and they only send one f***ing reporter? A floating! Oh, of course the truck comes by and hits him, because ha ha ha, comedy! But seriously, this trucker didn't think to break at all for the person floating in the middle of the road for several seconds? I'm really starting to suspect the driving in Philadelphia. Oh good, I get to watch the last 20 minutes of Man of Steel again. What is discount Stanley Tucci getting from all this? He's running around the city punching and kicking Shazam, and as soon as he lands a shot, he just hangs out intimidatingly? How's that gonna get the power transferred to him? These shopping bags are such obvious CG, and I totally noticed this and figured that out on my own. Billy, come on! Holy sh Nozzle, this instant discovery of Billy's identity is the most convenient set of conveniences to ever convenience. Super villain! Super villain! Worse. Much worse. Really? I mean, I get that you got that whole demon LASIK thing going on, but what makes your evil any worse than Zod or Eclipso or Kite Man? Whoa. Is that? I swear people in movies watch the local news at a rate of 25,000% more than people in the real world. What's Freddy doing with a superhero? A better question would be, why is the network constantly airing footage of Freddy and Billy arguing instead of images from the bus saving or the interview itself? These kids just saunter into the house with coats on. Uh, I guess there's no such thing as a coat rack in this house. Although, Darla's so slow here that she's way behind the other kids to get ready and find Billy. But then her superpower turns out to be speed, which is such a cool little movie thing that I must give credit where it's due. Billy? Whoa, did the all-powerful evil wizard seriously just ring the f***ing doorbell? Actually, I take that back. What a toe. Obvious presidential slam is appreciated. I mean, obvious. I let go, but it was by accident. I, I saw you. What? Jesus Christ, this origin story is worse than all the times Bruce Wayne's parents were killed combined. Setting aside how creepily young Marilyn was when she had Billy, she's describing her abandonment of him in the middle of a public place in the freezing goddamn cold. And Billy still turned out to be somewhat affable. So this sin is for Bruce ending up as such a whiny bitch. Billy! Billy! Oh, come on. The first time we saw this, the compass had been kicked around a few feet, maybe enough to get him truly lost in the crowd. But he was definitely within earshot of these calls by his name. Come home, Billy. Come home. That supervillain name is the Mad Repeater. Landlines. Say your name. And while you're at it, name the living members of the Rolling Stones, just in case it helps with the magic. 
sequels. How did Thad know exactly where the kids went? Was he also imagining a strip club and just happened to pick the same one? I guess it's not that crazy of an assumption, considering the booty trap does have those free hot wings. We separate the sins from the eye and he's just an old man. Hey, I get told something like that multiple times per day. Gather the mutts. That's racist. Full body mouth vagina. Vagina sintata? Ooh, these sins can go full smoke monster to avoid contact. Since they have that power, I'm sure the movie will remain consistent and no one will ever land a punch or kick on one of them for the rest of the film. Wait a minute, he clearly screams Shazam here. I mean, I know he's underwater and all, but is the movie saying the phrase has to be clearly audible in the air instead of the water? Is it an enunciation thing? Is there some sort of Shazam referee who has to make these calls? Can he just use one of his challenges and send it to the replay booth? Who decides what constitutes a Shazam? I guess the statue's been, takes off sunglasses, penalized. Man, this movie contains a surprisingly high amount of defiant and resolute staring. Are you making some of my big e evil guy's speech right now or something? You're like a mile away from me! Hilarious moment, honestly. But if Thad is doing this cliche monologuing, why isn't he any closer? <laughs> Still better than the actual movie. The exact reaction as the execs at Warner Brothers after seeing the public's response to this movie. Look, the end of this movie is really fun, but it's also equal parts X-Men, Harry Potter, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and Infinity War, so it takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails. I'm not mad, I'm just noticing a derivative when I seize it. This Hellspawn really wants to murder the f out of this Ferris wheel, man. What the hell did it ever do to him? Thad reloads his fists right here like he's Henry f***ing Cavill, which is hilarious when juxtaposed with what happened with him in Justice League and Mission Impossible Fallout. How the f*** did everyone determine that it was okay to come back to the carnival? Sure, Thad looks like he's defeated, but there's still a glowing ball of literal f***ing sin potentially in play. I invited another friend, I hope that's okay. Awesome. I bet he's doing this instead of saving some village in Mexico or Russia or something, though. The seven realms are about to be ours. Man, DC's reboot of Jiminy Cricket is gritty as hell. We'll be saying wow every time we use this towel. And that's Darla. I'm Darla. <gasps> Darla! And they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! My name. I, I don't know your name, sir. My name is Shazam. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star Lord. This is for board members only. I don't pay you to think, but Dad. Shut up! Whatever, kid. I do what I want. <laughs>